Okay, folks, this video is going to be kind of a subtweet because I don't really want to lose access to the person I'm going to complain about. It all has to do with financial advice. Now, there's a guy who I've followed for a couple of years now, and I find the guy amazing in terms of the down-to-earth financial advice that this guy gives concerning stock markets, real estate, other, other kinds of things. <laughs> Um, one of the things that he takes credit for, though, that I don't think he fully merits is, is transparency. And transparency is where you show not only your wins, but also your losses. And that establishes your credibility because, you, you know, anybody can basically say, hey, look at all the times I hit here and here and here and here and here. But if you also took losses in that period of time, well, you're kind of selling yourself as, you know, some sort of super god when you're just as human as the rest of us. It, it really establishes your credibility if you basically said, you know, hey, I had to take an L here, I had to take an L there, you know, the, these were learning experiences for me. Not everything goes right, but if you keep to this system, then things will go right in the long term over a general trend. So that's kind of the sort of transparency you want in a mentor, and that is the sort of transparency that this guy partially promotes himself with and accepts promotion from other people with and recently did so. Uh, just today and I chafe at that because there is this one particular instance in which this guy has not been transparent at all and it has to do with a video that he made about a year ago and in this video was basically here are 10 tweets that or not 10 tweets here are <laughs> here are 10 trades that I would make uh, on the stock market I would start these trades today if I were a beginner it's like okay that's cool and, and basically the thing was, and he even says it in, in the video description, I am going to come back in 90 days and we shall review, you know, how I did. You know, did, did I do good or did I do bad? Excellent. Excellent teaching opportunity and especially will establish your credibility as a great teacher if things go bad, if things go correctly, but things went bad. Uh, if you look at all of the stocks that he recommended and if you put equal amounts of money into them, then you would have lost 8%. Okay, well, why is that? Well, it's actually not because his system failed. All of these stocks looked great according to their indicators. But the thing is, is when the market takes a general downturn, which is what happened in this case, all the stocks are going to experience that downward market pressure because stocks have a tendency to act like a herd. You know, if the herd starts turning in one direction, all the stocks individually start turning in one direction. So every individual stock is subject to the pressures that are exerted by its sector and the pressures that are exerted by the overall market. Now, in this particular case, well, the market took a downturn and so most of the stocks took a downturn. If you looked at how the stocks did, there, I would say there were three big wins and there were seven losses. And all together, you combine all of those and you would get uh, an 8% loss. So, when 90 days came around, did this guy put out a, a, a video saying, you know, okay, you know, I, I have to take the L's here, I have to show my work and basically say this did not turn out well, you know, these, did, these three did, but these three did not, and so overall, you know, here's what goes on, and uh, this is the reason, and here's what we can learn from this. How could we have protected ourselves? You know, how could we set sell stops? How could we set uh, things that you know, put, put barriers in place. How do we estimate how much money that we should risk on a trade? All great teaching opportunities. Did you take advantage of any of them? No. This video just basically went into the memory hole and it's still out there. But at the same time, it's never been addressed. People have addressed it in their comments and I tried to address it in my comments. In fact, I tried to address it in, in, in the comments in the best way possible saying, okay, yes, everything went down and, or, or not everything went down because, like I said, three of these stocks actually went up. But overall, the portfolio suggested here went down. It went down by this much, which is not to say that money could not have been made during that time because if you had actually invested uh, that much at the beginning and then sold these stocks on their best days, you actually would be up 22%. But that's kind of crystal ball thinking and you, nobody knows when the highest day of a stock is going to be. That's just magic and guesswork. So I was trying to put it in the best light possible and then just basically say, okay, so what can we learn about this? You know, can, can, can we go back over this and do a, you know, a sell stop review? Can we say, here's, how, here's the most you should have lost on all this if you were doing your sell stops properly, et cetera, et cetera. And my comment got deleted. I went back to look for my comment and it was gone, which I found very disappointing. 
And so, uh, every once in a while, you know, I, I'd see this guy basically accepting praise for his transparency over his, you know, wins and losses. Like, you know, this guy just doesn't just show us his, his wins, he shows us the L's, too. And like, well, really not so much, because not only was my comment deleted at the time, but he never made a follow-up video. And so where is the examination? Where is the, the humility in basically saying, you know, look, this was something that I thought was a good idea and it turned out not to be a good idea. Let's see why and see if there's things that we can protect ourselves against in the future. That's the kind of thing I expect from somebody who's really got a reputation for transparency. Uh, but it hasn't happened yet. I hope it happens someday. It'd be nice because then I could basically say, oh yeah, this guy's completely transparent. He's completely consistent. You know, he, he basically shows you his wins and shows you his losses. But I can't say that right now. And that's, and that's a very chafing thing because, uh, you know, when you find somebody who's really, really good at what he does, and I, and I want to say that the guy really is good at what he does, you want to be able to offer a wholehearted recommendation. But when you wind up with a situation like this where, you know, there, there's just an obvious gap between, uh, between, you know, the image and the reality, uh, it's, it's, it's very chafing for me. I don't like, I don't like those gaps. And the gap persists to this day because recently he actually did put out a video saying, you know, hey, I had to take an L in this particular spot. You know, I'm basically talking about a new trade. And I put a comment on there saying, you know, hey, you know, that's great. I'm glad, I'm glad you posted this because it shows that you're open and forthright. How about going back to this particular video and uh, show, showing your work there, showing, uh, you know, taking the L there. And that comment got deleted too. So, yeah, don't know what to tell you, uh, other than uh, you won't get a full-throated recommendation from me on this guy, and since this is a video subtweet, I can't really make a recommendation at all, so, yeah, but that's the cost of self-censorship, and why am I self-censoring? Why, why am I basically, you know, not telling you, just, you know, oh yeah, it's this person, and, and, and offering up a challenge? Well, because I don't want to lose access. I mean, I, I, I like the guy's tweets. I like the guy's Twitter account. I like, uh, you know, receiving financial information from the guy on a regular basis. I don't want to shoot myself in the foot. Um, and that's kind of chafing me too. And that's part of the reason why I'm, I'm making this because I just have to, you know, at least, I have to at least cry out into the void like, you know, the the 13-year-old tween girl who's just been jilted by some guy and now she has to put out that sub-tweet that says, oh, oh, well, I guess I see what kind of people you really like or who you're really into, the kind of, <laughs> the kind of childish stuff that was just so cringe back in the day. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what this video is, but, you know, what the heck. I mean, and, and oh, and by the way, I, I don't want to make it look like, well, actually, I do want to make it look like I'm the kind of guy who, uh, who is transparent because I've been terribly transparent myself. You know, I'm, this is not one of these things where I'm holding somebody to a standard that I have not tried to meet myself. I literally had a video where I had to use my next video to refute myself because I realized just how incredibly wrong I was. So I made a nice like 20 minute video saying, you know, here's this position, is this, is this what's going on here? I think, I think we might be seeing a pattern and, and seeing something happening. And then it just turned out I did a wrong search on, on, a, on a text field and I was completely 100% wrong. And I had to make an entire video after that showing how wrong I was. So. <laughs> So when it comes to taking L's, I, I can show you some actual street cred of my own on that. In fact, I, I hope you would go back and watch it, both the video that I put together and the video that I had to put as a refu refutation, because it, it's a great lesson in humility where you really got to see, yeah, I, I, I could really kind of put together a nice little conspiracy theory and then just have to blow it apart all by myself uh, in, in the very next video because it just, it was just wrong. <laughs> it was just completely wrong. So yeah, if you have a chance to go back and watch those videos, uh, they, they have to do with uh, uh, Marvel's movie uh, Shang-Chi and, and reprints that were going on uh, a while back. Um, so look for videos called What If Marvel Is Afraid of China? And another one called uh, Master of Blooper Foo, where I am the master of Blooper Foo for having 
you know, put forward a conspiracy theory that was actually so completely wrong. Oh my gosh. So, anyway, I'm Mike Partika. Thank you for watching, and, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're going to, if you're going to claim a mantle, if you're going to claim a mantle for being transparent, then be transparent. Because, especially about the things that nobody can really blame you for. Like I said, this guy's system, he's, he's got a great system. And it works most of the time, but no system works 100% of the time. And so there are teaching opportunities to be learned in those occasions where you have a chance to say, okay, this didn't work, let's look at why it worked, let's look at how we can hedge our bets and, and make sure that we're protected and make sure that we only suffer the minimal amount of losses. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, especially if you're going to present yourself as exactly the kind of person who does that sort of thing. So, I'm Mike Partika, and thank you for watching. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you later.